Hey there everybody, JT Bear here, just doing a super quick update here, mostly to check out some new settings on the camera, but I figured I'd show you a couple things around the pepper patch, and I'm planting some melons today, so, you know, why not come along for that too. So, let's see how it does picking up the plants in this new HD setting on this very old Sony. So I've gone around with those two little pop bottle pepper collections and filled in a lot of the blanks today. You'll notice these fresh patches have the soil exposed. These are all orange habanero peppers. Turns out I put out 18 of those things today into the garden. Just filling in blanks. There was one Caribbean hot pepper still on the left hand side at the back of the tomato patch. I moved it over to the right and there's another six more of those orange habaneros plunked in there. But hopefully these Caribbean hops will make it. Not so sure about that one there. Not looking too hot. Over here though, in amongst the spruce garden, I mentioned I was going to try and see how many peppers were left alive in there. There are three. I think these are red demons, but uh, I'll have to check on the old video to find out. And these four are definitely El Jefe peppers. Seems like two and two. But it looks much better with the uh, grass mulching down there and some of the weeds knocked down. Gonna do some cleanup in this next patch here. Plant out more of those habaneros and probably some of the watermelons at least. I've got some musk melons, look like just a cantaloupe to me, but whatever, something new, I'll try it. Just a quick look over by the windmill garden too. I was digging around in these weeds and I found, uh, looks like five of those Peter's peppers that are currently still alive, although I really question how long that one's going to last for. But I mulched them all in. And again, filled in some blanks with, there's three more orange habaneros there, and a couple more back there. Otherwise, those are still mostly the Mexican hot peppers. Fill it in though. Shadow! So I think I'm going to take what's left of the orange habaneros in the pot bottles here, and just plant them into this a little bit of soil I've got cleared up in the spruce garden. That last batch of peppers didn't make it. But over here by the squash and the sunflowers. And then I might clear that section up there for some watermelons. We'll see. So after a moment's reflection, I'm just going to take six of the strongest from what's left in the pot bottles. I make some 24 of these planted into the garden today. So some of them are bound to make it. Then just need to give these a good layer of mulching next time I mow the lawn. And hope they grow, grow, grow. So what I'm planting here are early Canada improved watermelons. They claim 80 days till they're ready. An heirloom variety. Train going by in the background. Sorry about that. What do you do? Let's hope I've got time for at least some baby watermelons out of this. It says to plant four or five of these per hill, so I may have overplanted here as usual, but there we go. Underneath the sunflowers and the squash, hopefully some watermelons. Just cover that all up there. Grow, grow, grow! And then once I see some sprouts, I'll just put the typical grass mulching around that. Start building up the soil. I think it actually looks pretty good with the grass mulch in to protect the plants and block up those weeds. I guess that's where I'm going to wrap it up today. I hope you all have enjoyed this quick little video and uh, let me know down in the comments below whether or not the improved video quality shows. Uh, we'll see if I keep it or not. Alright, I will see you guys later. Take care everybody.